the installation of a sewerage treatment plant for a small domestic property. First of all, we check the ground to make sure there's no electric cables that we haven't been told about and any water mains that are live and may give us a problem. Anything that we do bust or break, we can repair. We have the equipment, we have the fittings. Once satisfied, we then lay out the polythene in order to make the cleanup operation a lot more efficient. We remove the turf rather than bring some in from the farm because we want the consistency of the colour in the grass for the client. Now these turfs, even if you lay them upside down, they'll still grow back, providing they're given some water. There's been a lot of work in the background to install this treatment plant, contacting the environmental agency, for instance, and the local authorities. They need to be satisfied. Now this ground is infill, what we call infill. The ground is very dry. This is not natural ground. You normally have a little bit of topsoil and then you'd find this type of soil eventually about 300 or 400 deep. We're getting into this type of soil straight away. Just check in here to make sure once again that there's no water main or electric cable. The treatment plant is delivered on a flatbed lorry and the chaps are well rehearsed in doing this. The digger is big enough so that it can lift this right across all the shrubbery in the trees and there's no danger to the operator. Although this treatment plant is quite big, it's made of glass fibre and needs to be protected by concrete, which we'll do later. All the men have safety certificate plans you would appreciate. Protecting the grass, although the grass is very hard and firm here, when the digger shifts or moves, especially when it turns, it will rip up the grass. So we use these 8 before ply sheets. Customers often say you wouldn't even know we'd be in there. The digger is big enough to lift the plant, the treatment plant, over the top of the hedgerow. Choosing the right side digger is crucial. As you can see here, the machine is tall enough or high enough to bring it right across the top of the hedgerow and the small apple trees. Although the treatment plant is huge inside, it's very, very light. So the ratio for the digger can stretch his arm more than he would if that was a larger weight. You get a size of the treatment plant just by comparison with the men. Now this is the graden bucket they've got on here. And we're just removing this turf where the treatment plant is going to be installed. Now this turf is not necessarily going to go back, just put it round the treatment plant in some sort of order. We use the graden bucket just for the first 300. And what he's doing is just removing the top surface. Now normally this would be top soil, but as I said before, this is infilled. We're going to put it into this dumper. This particular customer has asked for it to be, instead of taking it away, the customer has asked to be tipped in a field, which we're obliged to do because that's the customer's requirements. Now we've changed the bucket now, and we've got the the one with the large teeth. Now this will dig into the ground. Now this means we're very confident that there's no cables or water mandrake, no live electric there. However, there is a old water main from one of the farms from years ago. And even though we know it's not in operation, we'll be very careful with it, we'll be cautious. And as you can see, we're 
using the digger, which is big enough to get right over the top of the hedgerow and straight into the large dumper here. So efficient that the dumper doesn't have to come into the ground itself. I think one of the advantages of dealing with ASL is they are so good at teamwork. They're so good at talking to each other. Here's that main I was talking about. And we're just testing it and just making sure, just one more last check, and then we'll remove it. We have assessed it's a, a, an old water main. It's not being used, but we take a lot of care before we remove it. So we're just gonna cut it off and there it goes. And look at the condition of that after all these many, many years. And here's our chap back now for, to have his next load. They all work really well as a team. This bucket means that we're very confident now that every, all the pipes and all electricity has been removed and we're just going to crack on now. This is a very efficient bucket to use. So now we get on with the installation and we dig into the acquired depth. We now consolidate the base. Uh, we use uh, hardeners to get the base to go off very quickly, ready for the treatment plant. The base has already gone off. The hole for the treatment plant has got to be exactly right because this treatment plant can pop out the ground if it's not installed correctly. So we've got to get it in there nice and level. We then secure it by placing concrete underneath it and all around it. This customer has asked if it could be slightly lower than the norm, just so there's a small amount of lid protruding. And here you have the concrete. We have it mixed off-site at the concrete plant. They're the people that mix precisely to order. You can see the grab efficiently picks up the concrete place it in the dumper. This time the dumper has to go into the property, into the garden and tip over the treatment plant after protecting it with a board with an 8 4 sheet of ply. And again you can imagine the efficiency here, the coordination of the team once again. We're making this look rather easy but I believe you me, if you don't get everything timed, if you don't get everything coordinated, it can be a lot of wasted time. These men have done this job time and time again, and it's just a day's work really, or it's just a couple of days work. And if they see any problems, they recognize these problems and they put them right as they go along. And that's the thing about having experts, is because they see things that the novice wouldn't actually see. The reason we put in concrete around this chamber is one, to protect the chamber from any stones and whatever around the treatment plant, but also in wet ground, which this could be, because it's typical of putting in a treatment plant anyway, that you're in non-porous ground. And the idea of putting the concrete around is to stop it popping out the ground. What we do is we fill the treatment plant up with water. We've already put 600 gallon in there and we're just topping it up now. This is just a picture of um, pipes that was installed in Pijangle. Now here we have the electrician which is fully qualified. He is an electrician but he doesn't mind getting his hands dirty and his work is patiently done. He's not in any rush, he's not in the way of anyone. The timing once again when he does this work for safety reasons and to get it right the first time. And the reason you'd use ASL is because they just do this all the time. This area where the air pump is, is a small cocoon which will be under the trim. There it is on the top right hand side of the screen. That's, a, that's the air blow inside there. These men are really proud of what they do. They, they enjoy their work and you can see that from these three here.